Wanting to do the right thing is just the beginning. But putting in an effort to actually doing the right thing is where the real change starts. Welcome to Ponea Health, where every patient is a VIP. Unfortunately for most people, when they encounter health personnel, usually it's at a point of distress. At Ponea, we actually believe that every encounter is a reason to actually serve and to give back to the society themselves. We're made of heart, we are moved by a higher purpose, and we come to work every day to make an impact. And I believe the strongest impact can be felt at the base going up, and that's where we start at Ponea Foundation. We start at the base and go up, and hopefully we'll strengthen not only ourselves here at Ponea team, but the community in which we hope to make and transform the health sector. It's important corporates give back to the community, not just to improve their brand image, but also to retain uh, customers, suppliers, and also attract investors. At Ponea, we believe that our sustainability is premised on our ability to continually offer value to the communities that we serve. And that is why we believe that corporate social responsibility is not only a corporate, but an inseparable part of our overall product and service offering. Because it shows the people outside the organization, uh, not just that they're interested in just improving their brand image, but also that they care about social issues that uh, concern uh, the community at large. And that is why we continue going all out to ensure that every now and then we touch base with the communities uh, in any way that we can. We believe that a holistic management of everybody who is in the society is going to give good outcomes. And at the Ponea Foundation, we invite you to actually join us as we journey out there and be able to provide good quality health services. Our mantra here is to them who much has been given, much is also expected. We're joined um, by one of our partners and I'll give him the platform to introduce himself and tell us about what he does. Dennis is my name. I'm the leader of Physiotherapy Mtani Group and in partnership with Ponea, we started this initiative of giving rehabilitation to the less privileged kids in the society. Majina naitwa Peter Kefade. Eh mzazi wa mtoto anaitwa Dean Wainaina. Mtoi wangu alizaliwa mwaka 2012 lakini mimi kama mzazi siku nadhani ako na shida. Baada ya kumlea kufika mwaka na kitu nikaona hatembei. Uh, diposa nilianza kutafuta jia nilipompeleka hozi nikaambiwa hana uwezo na nguvu za mifupa sasa hii ninafurahia kuligana na Ponea Foundation juu wamekuja juu ya kutushikiria na kutuweka morali kwa majina ni Faith Njeri mimi ni mama Angela Nyakeo nimeshukuru kwa Ponea Therapy mtaani at Ponea Foundation, we want to be part of the bigger change that allows communities to thrive. And how are we going to achieve that? It's by investing our time, our money and our expertise through building change within the communities. As we, as we build Ponea, I think we appreciate that when you look at the pyramid, the pyramid of, of citizens in any country, you can't definitely put them all in one box. You've got the affluent, you've got a certain level, you've got middle class, but a, a large section of, of, of this population, the citizenry, is people still have to benefit from government, government healthcare services. But again, government healthcare services, they can't do everything. I think private sector needs to jump in in some areas and complement what government can do, especially in emerging markets. And you've got grant providers, you've got uh, uh, philanthropic organizations, but also we feel Ponea having built a network of service providers and caregivers, we, we through the Ponea Foundation, have sort of appealed to our providers to also be part of giving back to the society. And to do that, we've constantly, uh, every month, are trying to ramp up numbers of disadvantaged people in the society that may never have gotten that level of quality of healthcare either because it was too expensive, they weren't enough caregivers in that, in that segment. And what we do, we appeal to most of our caregivers or our providers to one, discount significantly their fees 
and, and uh, that they offer your normal mainstream patients, to then be able to, to, to offer the same service to somebody who's, who's disadvantaged. I looked at uh, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, we did a very, very successful campaign with uh, Nairobi Physiotherapy Services where we were able to take care of something like 50 kids who had deformities from birth, but they never had that opportunity to have a physiotherapy that is top class, be able to go there and, and, and work on their emotions and their body movements. And he spent a day there. It was very fulfilling to see all the physiotherapists in, in, that, in one of the uh, service providers stop what they're doing for the day and offer services to the less, for the, to the less, uh, to the, to the dis the disadvantaged children. And the parents, I could look at them and look at how excited they were to see the kids. And today, some of those kids are already part of our patients in our platform. Patients in our platform means we're able to track every month, be able to go and do a follow-up visits, two, three times, uh, even sometimes. But again, this service is being delivered by the caregivers, who are providers. But they, at, at the price, maybe even at 20% of the total value of, the, of, the, of, of what they would have charged a normal mainstream patient. Now, but to provide this service, somebody has to pay for it. So the Ponea Foundation then is built in a basis that it then funds, it, it, for instance, from our Ponea organization, which is our, our, our commercial organization, we're able to put capital in the Ponea Foundation to fund these initial uh, uh, roadmaps and initial patients. So our vision is to have at least every month to impact almost 2,000 patients. Even, if, even a 10%, 20% value of the, of, the, of the service we're offering, it means Akshay, myself, Peter, yourself, you could pull capital and put into our Ponea Foundation and to be able to, to drive traffic and to be able to have impact at the lower level of the society. What I hope to see is that I want to see the affluent, the middle class patient in our platform, but I also hope to see baby Njenga down there who maybe did not, was not able to get physio now, part and puzzle of our, of our patient. And I can be able to go to the medical records and see that within a year they've received 24 physio sessions from one of the top physiotherapists in the country. And that I think is our vision of Ponea Foundation. So another way in which Ponea is able to facilitate other organizations um, who would like to make an impact in, uh, in healthcare um, is through the Ponea grant management platform. And, and the way it works is, let's say uh, somebody wants to impact a particular condition. Let's say uh, 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 cancer for women, all right? Let's make it even more specific and, and say it's about breast cancer for women. And then we can further target it to say, okay, well, how do we uh, kind of ensure that a donor who wants to give, for example, a million dollars to impact uh, breast cancer uh, health, you know, for women above the age of 50 in a particular country uh, or cities to get access to getting their uh, mammograms done or some other diagnosis done that would help them to detect, early detect and treat. So that million dollar can go into the Ponea grant management platform. And then we can target by issuing coupons, Ponea coupons for that specific mammogram test to those specific women who meet that particular criteria by age um, and allow them to access that at a uh, Ponea vetted quality, you know, provider who is going to be able to give that. And we could even say, you know, this thing has to be done within a certain time defined period. And then on an anonymized basis, all those uh, uh, tests which are done, uh, the report for that, again, anonymized basis can go back to the grant provider, uh, to the donor who put in that million and be able to see how many women actually got their tests done how many you know, did have uh, uh, a result that needed further treatment, and how many were okay, um, and in what time that you know, uh, those tests uh, were done. So this kind of both, I would say, transparency around how uh, grant money can be used to make an impact, uh, getting real-time feedback, um, and be able to distribute that grant funding at the, at the lowest um, you know, possible cost. 
Um, so this is, this is a very, very powerful way of making an impact uh, besides the Ponea Foundation. Using the, looking at my experiences uh, as I've built many enterprises, I think this is the most fulfilling for me because one, every day I wake up with one commitment that I need to have, I need to impact somebody out there, a patient, right? Uh, two, how do I lower cost of healthcare? Three, how do I replicate this across other African markets? That to me is the drive and motivation that wakes me up every day, that gets me up from bed every day, and, 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 and the forecast that you can do this using technology. And as we do this, we then can really assist even governments in those markets, deliver better service, because we are helping deliver the private sector angle of it, make it more efficient, uh, uh, deliver your healthcare. And from, for me, when I look at Ponea in the long term, and then in the next 14, in, sorry, in the next seven years, I see us having evolved to, to a company that does great stuff on healthcare. But that is really driving, changing how Africans look and, and interact when they're sick, okay? My vision, and I hope that one day in seven years, Ponea would have changed and made a dent in that. You don't have to go and do over the counter prescription because it's too difficult to go see a doctor or it's too cumbersome. You say, let me go to Ponea, because maybe by going to Ponea, I'll have saved my life. What I love about what we're doing in Ponea is, is about reducing this um, uh, access to healthcare. You know, there's so many barriers to entry. Uh, you know, newly qualified doctors, we're giving them a platform to be able to practice. That's amazing. Uh, nurses, we're giving them access to, to also serve their patients. Uh, you know, hidden gems, like, you know, whether it's labs, pharmacies, doctors, who are not on the main street. We're giving them access uh, to the platform so they can serve more patients. Uh, we're removing all the administrative headaches because a doctor just wants to be a doctor, right? They don't want to be dealing with debt collection and record keeping and, you know, front desk management. We're taking all that pain points away and just letting healthcare providers and professionals do what they love to do. On the other side, we're giving access to patients. You know, a patient could literally uh, be so proactive now. You know, it's not about wasting time. It's not about, you know, not knowing how much they will end up having to spend or not having the money to access healthcare. We're taking away all of those problems and giving them convenience right at their fingertips for themselves and their loved ones. I think at the end of the day, this journey that we're on is going to impact not just lives, but the healthcare of entire nations, the healthcare of our entire continent. The more healthy Africa is, the more vibrant our economy is going to be. You know, so it's, it's a massive undertaking, uh, and I'm so proud you know, to be on this journey with Mike and the other uh, investors and board advisors. I think for me personally, if I uh, uh, look at uh, the horizon a couple of years forward, uh, my own mom was um, uh, misdiagnosed uh, with um, uh, uh, high blood pressure when she went to a facility a couple of years ago, which then resorted to her uh, getting a stroke. Um, and so when uh, Mike asked me to join him um, as a board advisor in this journey, I reflected on those moments and how annoyed I was that uh, a facility uh, had misdiagnosed my mom and got a stroke and uh, later on passed on. So for me, um, the most important thing that I see going forward is Ponea enabling uh, the built out of uh, a standard infrastructure of providing healthcare that is built on um, integrity and, and, and feedback from real patients. And that can make it possible uh, that never again with people be misdiagnosed because those kind of facilities will never find their place in Ponea.